Hello friends, welcome to another video here on the channel. On this one, we are going to be designing a ton of shirts very quickly. So I've gone ahead and recorded a design session for uh, 11 or 12 shirts and I've sped it up to like 400% and I'm just going to talk over it, tell you what I was thinking at the time, hopefully it gives you a little bit of value. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this format. I'm still experimenting and trying to figure out the best way to do these videos. The feedback so far has been amazing, so thank you so much for watching, for giving me your feedback, um, and just for being an amazing support system through this entire new journey. So what you see on the screen here before we jump into it is the Rest Set store, and you can see I've posted a couple shirts now. I'm slowly working through it. It's taking a little bit of work to get these mock-ups going, to just figure out keywords and all the stuff we have to do when you first jump into a new niche and a new store. Uh, I really like how it's looking so far. I redid the banner a little bit. This is not the final version, but it's... I'm liking the way it's trending. It's got a good feeling to it right now. So I've gone for something a little bit more fun and... Uh, uh, I hesitate to say cartoony, but it is a little bit cartoony. And we'll continue to evolve it. This is a work in progress. One thing I've learned is that you just need to get stuff out there and iterate as soon as possible because if you spend time trying to perfect it, you'll just never launch it, which is not going to get you to your goal. All right, let's jump into the design. So getting right into it. For the first design here, we are going to do a phrase called yoga, I'm down dog. <laughs> so it's a play on the phrase, uh, or rather on the pose, Downward dog in yoga. I apologize if pose is not the right word. It's the best I can do for the moment. But we've gone with a script font for yoga. It's nice and bold because I think that's the, the focus of the shirt, even if we're being funny. Toward the bottom, I'm down dog is the punchline. So we've gone with sort of a, a serif font that's a little bolder and in your face. You can see me playing around with the font placement here. Unfortunately, I'll, I'll fill you in on a little spoiler. I end up trashing this design because I just can't figure it out, but you get to see me struggle for a sec uh, couple seconds here. Eventually, I hop over to my Pinterest board, which is full of font inspiration, and I'm just going to try and look through for something to help me here, uh, but you'll see here I, I can't figure it out. For the next design, we're going to keep the phrase exactly the same. I'm just going to see if I can actually design something this time <laughs> that works. So again, it's yoga, I'm down dog. I've gone with a font that you traditionally see on um, a, a lot of designs and shirts that are focused on women's apparel. It's, it's just a fun font. I don't know how to describe it, but I make the font very large. We, we still want this to be extremely visible from search results. That's always the focus. Uh, a design that I commonly do here is any sort of word that's sort of like an article or a transition word, like I'm. I put little dashes next to it and make it smaller, and I think it creates some cool contrast in the shirt design. Uh, but I end up replacing it with an arrow. Ultimately, those dashes are just to fill space, and an arrow is a super popular design element. You see it everywhere. I figure it would fit well here. Unfortunately, as you see, my arrow is a little bit too short, so I just double it up and then cut out the middle. And, of course, you wind up with a longer arrow. The next thing I do is just try and play around with the color for a little bit. I, I try and get some pink in there, but it really doesn't work out, so we wind up just leaving it black. This next design is going to be the phrase, Namaste in bed. So it's a pun or sort of play on the phrase, Namaste, which is super popular in yoga circles. Again, I'm not really a yoga person, so I wish I understood this a little bit better, but work with me. Uh, so I start out here just trying to go for a super simple font. This is one you're going to see on like all sorts of t-shirt designs. But I realized pretty quick, it, I'm, I'm not sure it really captures the right spirit of this phrase. Um, so I'm looking through Etsy here for any sort of inspiration. One thing that really catches my eyes is that some people have used curved fonts, um, others have used scripts. I kind of get the idea in my head that I could just combine these. You see, I already have a design on the screen here, Namaste Witches. I made that in a previous video, but 
it accomplishes exactly what I want to do here. Uh, so I just I rework it. And so now you have sort of like a script curved font at the top for Namaste, and then embeds at the bottom in a simpler serif font. And embed, of course, is the punch, the catchphrase. So it just kind of works being completely different than the script of Namaste. For the next design, we are doing Everything Hurts and I'm Dying. This one is a complete classic, and I'm not going to pretend like I think this design stands a chance on merch, but I don't think the Etsy store would be complete without it, so we're going to give it a shot. I go back to my simple font here. I just write Everything Hurts and I'm Dying straight down the screen. Uh, it comes out super simple. You can see, again, when I'm not on my browser looking for inspiration, that I've gone with the dashes next to and. That's your transition word. That's the one that I'm sort of adding some contrast to. Um, and this particular layout with this simple font is not unique. I think many people have done this. My unique touch is that skewing that I just applied. That's something I've done with a lot of shirts in the past, and it it, it is unique. I really genuinely do not see other people doing it. And it seems to sell well. It's it's, it's just, I don't know, it, it's, it's a extra bit of uniqueness in the market and uniqueness is always going to help you. So I play around with the grunging a little bit. I wind up just basically with what we saw earlier. This next shirt design is going to be, I want to drink coffee, save animals and do yoga. It's a little bit out there, but you'd be surprised how well some of these shirts that just draw from all sorts of audiences and niches and just combine them without any regard for being subtle, they work. They really genuinely work sometimes. Sometimes you just get these home runs. So we're going to do it. And I've chosen the font Glorious for this one. And I'm using a mix of its serif variant, which is like the word coffee, and then its script variant, which is like the word drink. And normally I wouldn't type out script fonts in all caps like that, but I really like it with the Glorious font. Uh, so for the top at I want to, I'm just surrounding it in a white rectangle. You can see me drawing it out here with the pen tool. This is something that everyone does with the Glorious font, but it's good for tons of fonts. Uh, and so I play with the positioning a little bit here. I end up scrapping it though because I really don't like how heavy I want to makes the top of the shirt look. And I figure if you just type drink coffee, save animals, do yoga, there's kind of a... Um, it gives the shirt like a sarcastic, stubborn, sort of bold flair to it, which I think works with just about any niche, but especially in this one. Like when, when we're just combining all three things like this, like whoever is wearing this does not care about the absurdity of it. So it works fine to just put that stuff on the shirt and move on. For the next shirt, we are doing the phrase pet dogs do yoga. So... Again, this one's kind of combining two random niches, but I, I think if you look around the internet, you might find there's a slight overlap between people who like dogs and yoga. I, we'll leave it at that. I, I don't know why. But I'm going with uh, something I've done a lot in the past. This is a mainstay for me, which is combining a serif font with a script font. And just switching between the serif font and the script font like this just, again, creates a nice contrast. And you want to put the transition words like pet and do in serif. They're the, the lighter font that doesn't jump out at your eye quite as much. And then dogs and yoga are in the thicker script font, and that's what does jump out. And those are the words that's going to sell your shirt. Dogs and yoga is what people are buying this shirt for. They love dogs and yoga. So that's a good way to lay it out. For the next phrase, we are going to do vodka is a lot like yoga. You'll end up on the ground. <laughs> so this one's funny. It's a lot of words, so I'm a little bit intimidated, honestly. And this, this whole design process for this video was, it was not a good day for me, but I got it done. Uh, so long story short, I start out looking at my font inspiration here, just looking for something to trigger an idea in my head about how to lay out all of these words. Um, again, spoiler alert, this design doesn't quite make it. I, I just couldn't figure it out. You'll see me starting here with, this font that I, I actually really like. I found it the other day, and I was really hoping I could make it work with this particular shirt. I'm not sure why. I guess I just figure that vodka is kind of a, a very... It's it's almost like a violent word. Like, you, you don't think about vodka 
going together with yoga, right? So I'm looking for a font that's really going to stick out, but you know, it, it just doesn't work. So I jump back to Glorious. I love Glorious. I use this font all the time. Um, and again, I'm going for like the, the switch off between Serif and Script. I play around with it a little bit, but really this is the beginning of the end for this shirt. And I kind of realize it's just not working out. But I use the word beginning very intentionally because now I hop over to Illustrator thinking, oh man, you know, I'm having trouble with the shirt design anyway. I know that Glorious has given me access to a ton of Illustrator only vectors that just came with the font. Maybe I can do something super fancy. But this is my first time in Illustrator. And let me tell you, it, it does not work at all. <laughs> it is a complete failure. So you can see me very quickly. It was not quick for me, but it's quick for you guys because I sped it up. All I'm trying to do here is resize the word yoga and make it larger. But for some reason, I just could not figure it out. I tried so hard. You'll see me hopping between Illustrator and the internet and just Googling all sorts of things. Guys, I don't know. Photoshop and Illustrator are very different in terms of the keyboard shortcuts and the ways you do things. I thought they were more similar, but it was not working for me. So this design is toast and we move on. For the next design, we are tackling the shirt Zen AF. So Zen again is a yoga concept uh, or more maybe just like a, a meditation and kind of like chill out concept. But Zen AF is the idea. You can see I just did some brief Googling around for some inspiration. I looked around a bit on Etsy. Um, you know, I, there's only so much you can do with this, but I just wanted to see what people were doing with AF shirts. That's a super common thing. So I ended up settling for this pretty common font, honestly, for this type of shirt. It's just a, it's sort of a scripty font, but it has rough edges. I just made it huge. And to stand out from the competition a little bit, I threw in this background sort of fairy dust or paint splatter, whatever you want to call it. And I, I like how it looks. I don't see a whole lot of people doing this with the paint splatters. It actually does print out like just fine with print on demand. So I don't know why people don't do it more often. I, I wouldn't say it sells more than other design styles. It sells the same for me. So well, maybe a tip if you want to give it a shot. Personally, I, I like how it looks. I end up going with uh, a super bright pink for this shirt. I, I don't know. I just thought it was nice. A again, like, if you're going up against competition that just has a ton of black and white shirts, then throw something up that's colorful. It's, it's a way to get yourself to stand out a little bit. And besides that, like, I've done a lot of black and white designs recently, so whenever I get the excuse to throw something colorful in, that'll just stand out in my own shop, which I think is worthwhile. So I darken the pink color just a little bit to more of a reddish color and end up calling it there. The next phrase is namaste. It's a variation on the word namaste. I, th I think you can see why it would be funny. Uh, so here I am just typing it out in the same font. I reposition the letters a little bit so it all fits together well. I haven't played with the color yet. It's just the same color as the last one. But before even getting to that point, um, actually in a second you'll see here I switch fonts. After trying to mess with these swooshes, I really wish I was good at swooshes. I'm really bad at swooshes. Every time I try and do a swoosh, it's just a miserable failure. So you see me give it a shot there, and I end up abandoning it. This is where I realized I need to just change the font. There's this font called Chameleon, which is the one you see here. I love this font. I found it very recently, and I've been using it quite a bit. Uh, again, you'll see me mess with the swoosh here in a second after putting some paint splatter in, just to like the Zen AF shirt. But again, same as last time, I do wind up abandoning the swoosh. So this shirt ends up looking a lot like the Zen AF shirt, but that's okay. I, you know, I think some people overcomplicate shirt design a little bit. Uh, even I feel a little bit weird when I make shirts that look too much alike, but at the end of the day, the simple shirts, are all over the place for a reason because they work and they're popular and people like them so I wouldn't feel too bad about it. So once I finally give up on figuring out this swoosh, once again I've been at this for like three months trying to figure out how to use swooshes but failed once again. Uh, so the next phrase is wine, pizza, yoga pants, chillin'. 
again, it's a mashup of a million concepts. I I can't remember in my research if this was something other people had done or if I invented it. Can't remember, but regardless, I think you can imagine that everyone loves wine and pizza. So these are pretty universal things that you can just mash up freely in pretty much any niche. Uh, I'm using the same sort of design as a previous shirt. I'm just adding some color. So again, we have like the mashup of script and serif fonts. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the way the colors turned out, but I have a policy that if you create a design and you wind up not liking it, you should post it anyway because it's the designs you don't like that wind up selling. It's a weird law of the universe. For the next design, we are focusing on the phrase spiritual gangsta. So pretty self-explanatory. Spiritual, you want to do in like a script font. You want it to be fun. It's the word spiritual. Gangsta, man, you want that to be a thick, bold font because it's based off gangster. You know, that that's, that's hard. So we end up settling on a super mainstay font of mine called Treadstone. I end up messing with the sizing and the placement. I add some uh, grunge effect. Fortunately, these two fonts have a very similar grunge effect built into them, so that worked out super well. And once I just reposition things a little bit, I hide that layer and move on to the next phrase, which is yoga now, wine later. So for this one, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I pull up an old design I did in the Pilates niche. And unfortunately, I did not film making this design. I think it's a cool design. I, I really wish I filmed it. So I'll probably do something similar in the future and just walk through that. But for now, I'm just adapting this design to the, the yoga niche. And so you'll see me mess with the fonts a little bit here. One struggle I really have with this is that the word yoga has two swooshes. And I struggle with this all over the place. Like, I swear this has got to be one of the unsolved challenges of graphics designers everywhere, in particular shirt designers. Either that or I'm just hung up on it permanently. But you can see how these giant swooshes come down and interfere with the serif font. And in an old life, I probably would have just cut out the serif font. So like put a little blue border there you can see. I just added it. And it just adds that visual separation between the two words so the white doesn't overlap. But I've started to notice that a lot of the returns I get are from shirts where I do this. And the print quality is fine, like I've seen it. So I'm not sure if it's just coincidence or it's just a bad effect that, you know, for some reason my brain thinks is good. At any rate, I'm trying to do it less. So you can see here I've abandoned the whole square concept. I've abandoned the gold entirely. And now I'm just repositioning fonts to try and minimize that overlap. I try very very hard. You can see here I'm like adjusting the swooshes, like literally just free transforming text trying to get them out of the way. I have moderate success. It, it works out okay. Uh, and in the end though, I, I just can't figure it out. I'm by this point a little bit tired. This wasn't a great design session to begin with, but we made it through. I end up settling for just the cutout and uh, I don't know. I don't know if I love it, but that's what it is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please click the like button if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel. Click the subscribe button if you want to be notified of future videos. And finally, please check out my Instagram page. It's linked down below in the description. I post there almost daily things that are going on in my life, new merch tricks, anything related to business and entrepreneurship in the t-shirt space. So. Follow that for more. Uh, otherwise, until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you then.